I was watching this fucking movie that starred Paul Walker, rest in peace, Jessica Alba, uh, Scott Kahn, this other woman, her name escapes me. Her name escapes me. Um, I was watching that movie, and uh, I don't know what the fuck it's called. I don't know what the fuck it's called. And Jessica Alba, first of all, is so fucking beautiful. You just, it's like she doesn't have to do anything. She just sits there. She looks fucking amazing, right? And uh, that movie was so fucking ridiculous, yet entertaining. I don't think I've ever seen people hold their breath longer underwater in my life. You know, there's a fucking crash plane under the water. They go down there. They find drugs. This is even like a spoiler alert. This is like how many fucking times they've done the movie where regular people find a bag of money or they find some fucking drugs. Oh, what should we do? I think we should leave it. No, we should take it, man. This is a shot, right? And then the fucking bad guys figure out that they fucking took it somehow, right? The same classic fucking story. Right? Then Tom Hanks lost his wife and he meets Meg Ryan in Seattle. It's all the same fucking movie. Billy Crystal comes in and says a couple of things. Okay? Then Rom Reiner makes a cameo because he's directing the thing. And then somebody starts shooting up. Tom Cruise runs through and the doves come up. And there's your fucking movie. It's every Hollywood movie. Somebody's getting too old for this shit. Uh, the two people that hate each other have realized that they, they, they now love each other. Uh, the two foes then look at each other and they realize that, you know what, I respect you. You know, the days of thunder ending. I think, I, I think that covers it, right? Um, anyway, so we're watching this fucking movie, and at one point, the bad guys have scuba gear. Paul Walker and fucking... Scott Kahn have no scuba gear. They just dive down to this fucking plane, <laughs> which is like, I don't know, like 20 fucking feet under the water. So they fucking, the scuba guys swim into the plane looking for him. Scott Kahn is sitting in one of the, in the co-pilot seat pretending to be dead. He had enough time to sit there, gather himself, pretend to be dead, holding his fucking breath. And the scuba guy comes up and looks at him. He's like, well, I guess he's dead. And he keeps going. And meanwhile, they keep cutting to Paul Walker, rest in peace, right? He keeps fucking peeking in one of the windows. And this scene is like five fucking minutes long, real time, it feels. Or when you're just doing the math of how long it would take to get down there, how long you could fucking stay down there. And he's like peeking. And then he would just duck back out of the way. And all they had the decency to do was have like one or two little air bubbles go like bloop, bloop. <laughs> If I'm underwater and I don't have any fucking air, I mean, your heart's already racing like a fucking lunatic, so you're eating up that oxygen. Forget about the fact that there's these drug dealers with scuba gear that want to kill you and you're in shark-infested fucking waters. Didn't affect Paul Walker or Scott Kahn in the least. Somehow they were able to throw effective punches under the water. I mean, it was, it was unbelievable. The leaps of faith that you had to make in that movie, yet I still enjoyed it. You know, because every time you were like, this is fucking ridiculous, they would cut to Jessica Alba just going like, should we keep the drugs or something? <laughs> you go, oh, my God, she's fucking beautiful. It's genius. The editing of that movie is genius. I don't know what it's called, though. Dude, she has one scene. She just leans against the door brushing her teeth, and it's like, I could watch a movie of that. Jessica Alba gets ready for bed. Um, so check it out. I think that's what that movie is. It's called some, something about the deep. They're always called the deep, the cove. I don't know what it was, but I was just sitting there, you know, in my own way, making fun of the movie, trying to make Nia laugh. I was just like, Jessica, I'm not, I'm not going to wear a shirt. And see, uh, you going to wear a shirt? Um, which is probably childish. That's what I do here. Wait a second. I got to find out the other name of that actress on that movie. I can't name three of the four stars, right? Can I? Hang on a second. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. I'm not even going to look right. Upside down, you're turning me. 
giving love instinctively. Okay. Round in. Yeah, I was talking about Deep into the Blue Ocean with Jessica Alba and Paul Walker. Into the Blue. Into the Blue. Into the Blue. I'll have a blue. That racist ass movie. Ocean. Racist? Yes. How is it racist? I watched it as a white person and I didn't have a problem with any of it. <laughs> surprise, surprise. What did you see? No, that scene where they had the... Um... Talk into the mic for the love of Christ. You know what? People have tweeted me and have been like, we can hear you just fine. Well, then they would say that I was too fucking loud. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but they haven't. <laughs> They're used to it by now. All right, I'm talking to the microphone. No, there was this one. So this place, this movie takes place in the Bahamas, right? But of course, you know, there's like barely any black people in it. And it's white people on vacation. They're not on vacation. They live and work there, oh. except for Scott. Jessica Scott. Alba's not white. Oh, right. Oh, shit. Now who's yeah, not being racially I mean, sensitive? Yeah, she's, yeah. Okay, fine. She's not white. But they're in the Bahamas. That's where black people live. Anyway, can I get finished telling you how I, you know... Anyway, <laughs> one of the guys that either works for them or works with them in some capacity, he has, like, maybe two lines, and one of them is, I gotta go, my baby mama is hassling me over a weave or, like, needs me to give her money for a weave. Needs or a new weave. Bo- needs a new weave. Like, what the fuck? They were oh, capturing the, uh, the no, black experience. No, 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 <laughs> They can't give him a line that has any kind of, like, dignity. Like, oh, I got to go. I told my wife I'd watch the baby. Or, oh, I got to go. My son has a soccer game. My baby mama needs a weave. <laughs> That is so <laughs> racist. That is so... And then and then there's another scene where they're somehow explaining, I don't know, pirates or some kind of Bahamian legend that, you know, Paul Walker is explaining. And then, um, what's his name? Scott Kahn is looking at pictures. And he's like... So I this love is, Scott Kahn. So this is Snoop Dogg here. And these are all his hoes. And this is his pimp cup and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, really? He used to be in a rap group. He knows the terminology. You know what? Did you ever I, see 8 Mile? That was based on him. It was based on Eminem, and I'm not even one of those white guys. Scott Con in a rap group, like I'm just not even. No, let's. Let, I don't even want to talk about that. Scotty Con, Scotty Con. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> did he scratch to that? Right, he came out. Oh my! Yeah, let me rock. Let me rock. He's Scotty Con. Was ridiculous. <laughs> the one thing I that I for you. the one thing that I liked about the, that movie, I can't believe we actually watched the whole thing. But there was a scene where... I enjoyed it. It was so ridiculous. Scott Kahn and Paul Walker are talking about the, like, what are we going to do, man? And they're underwater holding their breath at the no, same time. No, they're, they're above... Punching the, they're, sharks. They're on land, and it's daytime as they're talking, and the camera slowly pans around them, like, really slow. And by the time it's done, the sun has set. And it was a really beautiful shot. Other than that, that movie can go kick rocks. Right? Oh, it's because you're holding a baby. Kick rocks. Can kick rocks. I already said the F word in front of her. We're really oh. trying not to do that. I mean. But that movie was ridiculous, and I'm really upset at that line. It still bothers me. I got to go. My baby mama needs a new week. Yeah, they, they were underwater for 15 minutes. Like I can suspend my disbelief on that. That wasn't something that I. I'm just to saying. I mean, if, if they if they're gonna handle why breathing, why are you making excuses for this that line in that movie? Because I why medita- are you making excuses? Because I, I meditate now, and what I've what learned does that have is to do with anything? I'm learning to have patience. Patience with what? With just people's behavior. Well, you're lucky that you have that ability to do that. I was very offended and annoyed by that. No, I'm just saying that like if they was can, that not if, offensive if, to it, give him that line? It, not to me. I'm white. What? I'm not asking about you as a white person. <laughs> I'm just saying that. I'm not asking it as went a over white my head. to defend you. I'm just saying I didn't get it. I'm telling you what it is. So why are you sitting here acting brand new like you don't understand what I'm talking about? Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm just trying to be... At some point, it has to no. be funny. No. Well, I don't care about it being funny. I know it's a ridiculous fucking line, but I got to keep yes. the comedy going. This isn't count oh. point a coin. Point. Oh, counterpoint. Is what is it now? Point, counterpoint. <laughs> You got a moron for a host. Oh, yeah. Keep the funny. For the love of God, please, let's not lose the funny. God forbid you actually agree with me uh, on some shit and try not to, you know. Can you pitch this episode to be- dear white people for me? Good Lord. I got it. It's fucking offensive. I'm agreeing with you. I'm trying to fucking keep it funny on some level. Fine. I'm trying to, I'm just playing the ignorant white guy. You don't have to play at anything. Nia. <laughs> I'm the one who said the line first. I was, I was laying there. I go, I got to get my baby mama a weave. Terrible. 
It's terrible writing. I mean, no, what the fuck? It's offensive. It's fucking people jumping around. They're walking around all naked, looking good, holding their breath for fucking four hours. Do you honestly think that, that they're going to have Maya Angelou or one of those people in their fucking heads? Is that the right reference? <laughs> um, sure. All right. What else you got? Um, I don't know. Okay, Norway. When when are you on this? Oh, by the way, you know what's stupid? It was when I was imitating Jessica Alba doing lines, going ah, like she's dumb. She's got a billion dollar fucking company. Where do I get off saying that? Mm-hmm. Huh? Although my podcast is doing pretty well, if you go on <laughs> iTunes. 